Okay, I'm just going to make a real short video here. Uh, I, I made another video of how to uh, replace the pin and bushings in the door hinges of these uh, square bodies, uh, 73 through 87 uh, pickups, blazers, suburbans, stuff like that. Anyway, I'm just going to make a quick, I'm not going to make another video because I don't need to. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to make a video of how to remove this one bolt from the upper door hinge of the passenger side of the truck and just because it's uh, kind of tricky to get to but it's it's the only one the rest are on the outside there would be two there three there three attached to the door at the bottom and also three attached to the door at the top so but I'm just focused on removing that bolt which you got to get to from the inside of the truck so here we are inside the truck and you can see I've got the uh, uh, glove box open and if you can see right there it looks like someone's already tried to come in here and uh, remove that bolt I'm going to try and get in here with the flashlight and the camera see if I can get a good picture of it see right back there behind that little uh, it's a metal disc, little plug. That's where your bolt. That's where the bolt is. And it's right back there. And uh, just take a screwdriver and pop that off. And I'll do that real quick. Now to make this a little easier, uh, you can take off your glove box door. Um, you can get to that bolt back in there. Um, usually, what you do is you just loosen your. Uh, little uh, catch wire just Phillips head screw loosen it and it should drop down enough but I'm gonna take the whole uh, glove box door off and there's just four bolts there's four bolts under here they're quarter inch uh, unfortunately I cannot find my quarter inch socket so I'm having to use a box wrench but uh, quarter inch socket or quarter inch wrench and a Phillips head screwdriver uh, and that's really all you need to get your uh, glove box door off alright so there's a the little plug I got the glove box door removed and that's a little metal plug I was talking about I'm gonna see if I can get a screwdriver in here from the side that's not working too well right there there we go well maybe Can't quite get to it. There we go. We got something. It's starting to come off. There we go. That's getting it. There it comes. Let's see if I can get in there with my fingers. And there it is. Just a little metal plug, just like on the other side. Now, there you can see, there's the head of the, uh, the bolt. Just need a 9 sixteenths inch, 9 sixteenths inch socket, and uh, an extension, and your ratchet, and that'll come right out. You'll need a relatively long extension on your uh, ratchet. Uh, this one on here is uh, an 8 inch. And this is it. You just stick your ratchet in there and start turning. And oh, that's not a good shot. But anyway, you get the picture. And uh, that's how you remove that bolt uh, from the inside of the cab. I uh, hope this helps.